Welcome back to our channel. My name is Brooke and I'm the Eureka Coordinator at Girls Inc. of Orange County. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. And today we're going to be talking about my favorite topic, food. So, I'm a massive foodie, so I'm really excited to be taking on this topic with you all today. We're going to be covering things like healthy eating, nutrition, and to find out what is really in the food that we're eating. Nutrition is the process of providing or obtaining the food necessary for health and growth. So healthy eating means that eating a variety of foods that give you nutrients you need to maintain your health, feel good, and have energy. Making sure that we're getting enough of these different food groups is really important to our health. The food that we're putting in our body is more than just good or bad. It gives us fuel to be able to have energy, for our brains to stay focused, and for us to grow properly. With the correct fuel, we will be able to do everything that we want to do. Without the correct fuel, we'll start to feel sluggish and unmotivated, and likely have trouble with day-to-day -day activities. But there are a ton of different types of nutrients that we put into our body every day, and it can be really confusing how much of all these nutrients that we actually need. That's why one of the first things that we're going to be discussing today is nutrition labels. The Nutrition Facts label is required by the Food and Drug Administration and is almost on all packages and beverages. The Nutrition Facts label provides a detailed information about a food's nutrient content as much as the fat, sugar, sodium, fiber, and a lot more. Let's dive into it. You can find the amount of nutrition your food has by locating the box on your packaged food that says nutrition facts. It should look more or less like this. Now I know it looks kind of scary, but trust me, it's not as complicated as it looks. Underneath will be all the nutrients in that product. Let's first look at number one that says serving information and direct our attention to serving size. Everything under the black line will be for one serving size. It may say something like half a cup, five ounces, or maybe even something like eight crackers. This shows us how much of the nutrients listed below are for that specific serving size. For example, the serving size in this is one cup. So I know if I eat one cup of this, I will be getting equivalent to the nu nutrient content below. Now, if I doubled this serving size and ate two full cups, that would be two servings. That is two times the calories and the nutrients shown in the sample label. So you would need to double the nutrient and calorie amounts as well as the percentage to see what you're getting in two servings. Nope, this is not the recommended serving size that you should eat, but rather a good way to track how much you're eating. Now, let's direct our attention to number two, calories. According to the Food and Drug Association, calories provide a measure of how much energy you get from a serving of this food. Calories are really important to get enough energy to perform day-to-day -day functions. For example, there are 280 calories in this item. What if you ate the entire thing? Well, since it says that there are four servings per container, you would have to multiply 280 times four, which equals 1,120 calories. To achieve or maintain a healthy body weight, Balance the number of calories you eat and drink with the number of calories your body uses. 2,000 calories a day is a general guide for nutrition advice, but that isn't always the case since our bodies are all different and some are growing more than others. You should definitely talk to a trusted adult about how many calories you should consume a day. Your calorie needs may be higher or lower depending on your age, gender, height, weight, and physical activity level. Now, let's dive into number three in yellow, which is nutrients. These are all the nutrients we will be getting from that serving size. The first thing you will see is total fat. Total fat is pretty self-explanatory. It's the total fat for that specific serving size. You will then see saturated fat and trans fat. I want to make note that fat is not bad for you and there are plenty of healthy foods that are high in fat. What we want to be aware of is things like trans fat. We want to limit high amounts of these types of fat because too much trans fat and saturated fat have the possibility to lead to heart disease and other medical issues. This isn't to say that you shouldn't have any of this in your diet, considering it is in most of our food. We just want to be aware of it when we're trying to eat healthy. Below that, you're going to see cholesterol. Cholesterol is created in the liver. You can also get cholesterol from the foods that you eat. Meat, fish, eggs, butter, cheese, and milk 
all have cholesterol in them. Below that, you'll see sodium. Sodium is the amount of salt in a single serving. Underneath that are carbohydrates. There are a lot of diet fads out there that advertise no-carb diets, but I want to urge you to be careful of this. Carbohydrates, otherwise known as carbs, are all of the grains in our diet, like bread, rice, and potatoes. These are grains, fibers, and sugars in our food as well. For example, fiber is really important because it helps our body digest the food that we eat. Under that is sugar. We want to make sure that we have lower amounts of sugar to maintain a healthy diet because just like trans and saturated fat, too much of sugar can also lead to health problems down the road. At the bottom, you're going to see the vitamin section. Vitamin means vital for life. Vitamins and minerals are compounds necessary for the health, healthy functioning of our bodies. We need vitamins and minerals to help us grow, to see properly, to make bones, muscles, skins, and organs, as well as to help us battle infections. The more vitamins and minerals there are at the bottom of the nutrition facts, the better our body can function. You may not be able to get all the vitamins you need from packaged food, which is why it's important to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables to meet your vitamin requirement. Now, you're probably wondering why there's something on the right-hand side, and that's the purple section. That is where you'll see a percentage. This is the percentage daily value. This shows you how much a nutrient in a serving of food contributes to a total daily diet. We should understand this by using a 5-20 rule. 5% daily value or less of a nutrient per serving is considered low, while 20% of a daily value or more of a nutrient per serving is considered high. You want to watch out for this in things like sodium, trans or saturated fats, cholesterol, and with those we should try to get less than 5%. But in the things like vitamins, minerals, and fiber, we want to make sure we're getting at least 20% or more. Now that we know how to understand our nutrition labels, let's talk about organic food versus processed food. Organic is the process of producing things without the use of chemical fertilizers, pesticides, or other artificial agents. If you see a product with this label, you'll know it has to contain at least 95% of organically produced ingredients. Processed foods, on the other hand, are foods that have been chemically altered through additives such as flavors, um, colors, fillers, preservatives, stabilizers, and a lot more. Um, it also could have been manufactured through a combination of other methods as well. Generally speaking, if the ingredients aren't natural, then we consider it to be processed. Now, there are some foods that have very little fertilizers or pesticides, and in that case, it's not that important to buy organic. Let's figure that out. In this chart, you're going to see a lot of different food. And this food, we're going to show you the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. The Dirty Dozen foods are going to be foods like strawberries, spinach, and potatoes that contain a large amount of pesticides, and therefore it's recommended that you should buy organic. But the Clean 15, on the other hand, are those foods that have little to no traces of pesticides. Therefore, it's okay to not buy organic. These things include like kiwi, asparagus, and avocados. At Girls Inc. of Orange County, we want to make sure that you're viewing eating healthy in a body positive way. So when we're talking about things like nutrition, we want you to know that being healthy isn't limited to what you eat or how much you exercise. And it doesn't mean that you need to eat only healthy foods 100% of the time. It's about making sure that we're eating nutritious things to support our body and give it energy. But also letting ourselves indulge in the things we love, like desserts, chips, and candy. This is called moderation. The idea of moderation isn't the same for each person. So finding good balance that works right for you is the key. All right, well, that's all for me today. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel to get daily updates from our awesome staff. If you have any questions about nutrition, healthy eating, or organic foods, please leave it in the comments box. And I hope you have a most wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye.